you know, from American Idol to right here as a news anchor on the weekend on KITV, we've all seen Jordan Segundo grow before our eyes. And we are very proud of him, the way that he's represented our island state and culture to the world. But there's a little bit more behind the passion and the energy that he brings every day when he tells you the news. Welcome to Good Morning Hawaii. This Very is cool. the, the desk uh, where I am here five days a week, bright and, I say bright and, well, not bright and dark, That's dark right. and early with everyone who tunes in every morning. You know, I don't think actually people realize, Jordan, how many amazing things you do in both in front and behind the camera as the anchor, weather, your performance and your journalistic nature on camera here, does that extend into your day when you, I mean, it's not like you take off your hat. You're still wearing that hat when you get off camera and running around. Off camera, and on camera, I'm the same person. That is true. That is so very, very true. So if you see me, you know, at Costco shopping in the groceries and you come up and talk story, I'm the same. Uh, I start my shift, get in here, uh, whether I'm doing ch weather or mm -hmm. anchoring, uh, starts with, you know, prepping for the show, getting everything ready. So it is a very early morning, but it is worth coming to work. I love working with the morning crew here, uh, weekday and weekend, and it is fun. I was raised with really good parents who taught me very valuable lessons. Always be humble, be thankful where you come from. I have a very supportive family who've supported me from the very beginning. So I've sort of been in the, I guess, entertainment world for quite a while. Um, you know, I've had great management, Nancy Brunel, mm -hmm. uh, to work with them to keep me grounded on that. But it's just being comfortable with who you are, not being afraid of what people think, and letting people in. Looking in the past Years have gone so fast And through it all we stay together You and I I, mean, I was a senior in high school when I started American Idol and before that it was always music. I was singing, uh, performing at different places, did musical theater. Mm -hmm. uh, right after American Idol was when I started television. Yep. I uh, worked at another news station mm -hmm. and I was doing stories that was related to teenagers and then it sort of branched off into doing work uh, with Athlete of the yep. Week and then I became uh, you know, on the weekly segment there so it sort of my transition from music to television was sort of, it kind of just happened. Yeah. And it re I realized that it was something I love to do, uh, being in front of the camera. And being on TV and being on stage, is, it's the same thing, especially with live TV. Because on stage, you have to sort of be on, on your toes. You have to think in the moment. You have to be in the moment. And live TV, it's the same thing. I have producers in my ear. I'm running around multitasking, mm -hmm. so you have to be always on and sort of focused in the moment, but still thinking two steps ahead. I have so many reasons to love you. So many reasons to leave. So many reasons to say goodbye. I was young at the time, I went out there, I did everything that I could uh, to represent Hawaii, represent uh, you know, my family. I didn't make it to the, the final rounds, but that whole experience for me became the stepping stone for my musical career. So I got back home to Hawaii um, with open arms from the, the folks here, and I am so grateful for the support throughout all these years. And it's a big part of why I'm still here doing what I do because of the support from my family, um, from the people of Hawaii and of course the people that I work with uh, right now to kind of guide me along this journey and so it's been it's been amazing to think back that it's been 15 years since I auditioned for American Idol and I'm still still living my dream.